laparoscopically and then while you're in there go in and do an excision of all the hi my name is v i am a trans man and a nursing student and three weeks ago i just had that very same surgery that you're asking for um first uh, recommendation that I would do to you is to find yourself a surgeon that also specializes in um, removing endometrial lesions because not all surgeons uh, specialize in that. You want to ask if they do specifically because uh, my surgeon didn't and I still have endo lesions inside. Uh, and if there are some endo lesions still inside, they hurt like a motherfucker. Um, second advice that I could give you is, um, you want to talk with an endocrinologist, um, and see where your hormone levels, uh, will be. And if you need to go on hormone replacement therapy, um, especially if they have to take out your ovaries as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to come on and tell you was that, um, Myself, I had an MRI prior to my laparoscopic hysterectomy, um, and um, the MRI didn't show any signs of endometriosis, like, at all. Um, and MRIs are supposed to be, like, top tier for imaging to detect these kinds of things. Um, I had many ultrasounds done as well. Uh, the thing is... Imaging is only as precise as the radiologist that reads it and the techniques used and the machines used to do the imaging. Um, so error is human. Um, they didn't catch endometriosis in me on the MRI, but it was very much there. Um, so yeah, no, the fact that you've been in pain for 13 years does not make you crazy at all. Like, at all. Um, you stumbled upon a very, very good radiologist that read your reports, that read your imaging, and I understand you feel vindicated. But the only thing that can 100% confirm endometriosis is laparoscopy, is exploratory surgery. Not even an MRI will confirm if you do have endo or not. And if an MRI does confirm it, then it's at a very advanced stage and it's bad. So, yeah, you're right to feel vindicated and um, you have every right to demand what you're demanding.